Hi Libras, welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for stopping in. And before I get started, I just want to tell you a little something. Um, so I had a quantum healing session with Ty L from TikTok. So I have left his TikTok link um, in the description box. Check him out if you are interested in a quantum healing session or a light cold healing session. I thought it was amazing, um, my experience with it. And let's just say that it was like divinely what I needed, okay? So I'm not gonna say any more. I'm just gonna let his work tell you everything yes <laughs> all right so thank you for listening to that here we go libras first we have is the five of wands we have the king of cups we have the five of cups two fives we have the ten of swords we have the page of cups and we have the three of pentacles bottom of the deck we have the page of swords so libras you could be dealing with a fellow air sign gemini libra aquarius i see water sign cancer pisces scorpio okay so before i get into your reading i had a massive i'm still having a massive headache right here on this side um when i shuffled uh your guys's cards and tuned into the energy of libra the song that came to mind was Queen and David Bowie. Pressure, mm -hmm, down on me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I feel like a lot of pressure, headache pressure. There could be a lot of fighting, a lot of conflicts. And you're just like done with something. Oh my gosh, the emotional maturity of this person is of a teaspoon. Oh, Becky. This person, emotional maturity, it's always got to be about them and their feelings. What about my feelings? So tired of it. Every time I try, it makes me feel like I am regretting. I'm instantly regretting. Okay. So for some of you guys, it's just could just be an emotional change a change of it of emotions we have five of wands five of so uh, five of cups jeez so it's like words that were said that could have been something regretted saying something you didn't mean and i say that because the bottom of the deck is this page of swords Page of Swords tends to, like, say something without even thinking. No thinking, no thoughts whatsoever, right? No discernment for how they're holding this sword, okay? And then we have this Page of Cups. It's just, like, distracted by this little fish. All right, so we have insecurity and curiosity at best. So if this guy is not paying attention, then he could slice this guy who's not paying attention. Again, there's no attention, right? This person's attention is somewhere else, not where how his sword is, not what's in front of it. And this person's attention is on this fish, nowhere else. All right, so if he slices, then somebody's going to get hurt because nobody's paying attention, okay? So somebody's not paying attention, or both of you are not paying attention. And that's what pain is. Pay attention. Inner work needed. Right? Inner work needed. Three of Pentacles. Inner work needed. Needing to deal with some type of insecurity. Doubt from childhood. Libra. That is giving you anxiety. That's to me is my anxiety card. I got so much anxiety, Becky. Especially this. Flaring anxiety. Okay? You have flaring anxiety because of a father figure. Um, trying to control your emotions. 
but not being very successful about it. So maybe seeking out some help, maybe seeking out some type of therapy. You know, and I love that we are now being more culturally accepting of therapy. That's awesome. So get some information if you're wanting to have a therapy session find out what is the best option for you like i said i've not seen like a psychologist or a therapist i have i'm a massage therapist i use energy um work and then spiritual therapy in a sense to help me go through what i need to go through because it all ties into one right at least that is my belief and a few other people's beliefs. All right, so here we go. We have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of Pentacles. So this is about focus. All right, what was I saying about nobody's paying attention? So pay attention, all right? I want you to pay attention. I want you to focus, uh, work through what it is that you need to work through. Um, so if, for instance, you have a lot of high, you have high anxiety, high depression, high, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, working through those, finding different techniques, coping mechanisms, uh, working with the therapist, working with a psychologist, whatever it is, or working with your life coach. Um, and even just like focusing on something that you that doesn't bring you anxiety. So say for instance, you like crafting, you like making handcrafted goods, stuff like that. That helps with your anxiety and depression. So once you're creating, what you're doing is releasing those, those negative things, those negative fears, worries, and anxieties, and you're focusing on something that you can do. So focus on things that you can do versus what you can't, right? What's not out of you. Whatever it is out of your control, allow it to be out of your control because there are some things that you do not have control over. It's okay that you don't have control over them. But there are things that you do have control over and choosing what state of mind you want your mind to be at rather than chaos or peace, okay? That's your choice. we have the emperor okay so this could be a, a masculine energy a very strong masculine energy could be very older like i said a father figure um if this is not this is about you Control, or I said control, you, you have no con controlling the things that you can, right? So what is it that you can't control? You can control your emotions. You can control peace of mind or not peace of mind. You can control emotional harmony or emotional imbalance. You can control um, your physical abundance or physical lack of abundance. What do you mean by that, Becky? Like, say, for instance, you choose to eat healthy versus choosing to eat crap, okay? And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So, again, being more confident, all right? So, working on t working more towards confidence, seeking help, seeking advice, seeking guidance from other people that are, that can help build you up, okay? Because it gives me the Six of Pentacles, which is, again, about reciprocity, help, right? Seeking help, asking for help. It's okay to ask for help. It's not okay to suffer in silence. Six of Pentacles. I mean, Six of Cups. I'm sorry. Six of Cups. So this could definitely be something about the past. Again, healing things that from the past. What was I saying? Something that happened during childhood. Okay. For others of you, there could be arguments between a father figure and the children. Definitely some family therapy, counseling. That's what I'm getting. So there's an unspoken Ace of Cups here with the Six of Cups and that Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like everybody wants to be on the same page. But nobody knows how to, okay? So definitely seek mediation or therapy or therapist to help with that, okay? So that is what I have for you, Libras. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time around. Namaste.